Most of us take the power of sight for granted, so much so that we don't even think twice about the nature of light and how complex it is. In fact, we don't even completely understand it. But thanks to quantum mechanics, we have a solid footing that helps us understand various phenomena like refraction, diffraction, and the photoelectric effect. One of the most fascinating aspects of light is its dual nature, also known as the particle wave duality. What I have here is a small card with two holes punched into it. And I'm going to shine this laser light into these holes. Now, when I shine this laser light through the two slits, what happens is a single beam of light is split into two on the other side. As it propagates, the two waves of light are going to interfere with each other. The pattern that you get is called an interferogram. When the two waves propagate and interfere with each other, the result depends on which parts of the waves collide. If the crests or the troughs of the two waves meet, then the resultant wave is amplified. But if the crest of one wave meets the trough of the other, then they cancel each other out. Another phenomenon that can be observed to prove the wave nature of light is the colorful bands that can be seen when a thin film of oil is floating on water. Light gets reflected from the top surface of the oil and from the boundary between the oil and water. Since sunlight is polychromatic, the interference of the two reflected beams of light results in a display of colors. While these explain the wave nature of light, let's take a look at the particle nature of light as well. Light is made up of elementary particles called photons, which are packets of energy. The camera that we are using to record this video has a sensor that captures my image. This sensor has called something called as photodiodes. Now when the light falling on me gets reflected onto the sensor, the photodiodes generate a voltage. And this voltage is then converted into a signal which is later decoded and recorded as a visible and discernible image. While this may be a little difficult for you to imagine, let's take a look at a simpler example of a solar cell that uses light falling on it to generate electricity. A solar cell works on the principle of the photovoltaic effect. When photons fall on certain types of materials like silicon, the electrons absorb the energy of the photons and are dislodged from their natural state. These electrons are now free to flow through the circuit. This produces a voltage which can be put to productive use. While these might be a little difficult for you to try at home, what you can, however, do is replicate the pattern of the interferogram using grains of sand. All you need to do is take a piece of paper and make a couple of slits on it and place some sand on it. Now, if you gently lift the paper, you will notice that the sand falls down in a pattern that resembles the fringes of light obtained in the double slit experiment. So it can be understood that light consists of packets of photons propagating forward in the form of waves. These observations have been the foundation of quantum mechanics and modern physics. We hope you enjoyed watching these experiments and would like to try them at home yourselves. Until then, see you at Tunsuskill Link.